ไปจริงจุดจุดจุดจุดไปไปไปจ้าวจ้าวแจ็คแจ็ค some Vietnamese guy named Fat here to see ya ah yes sir bring him in Yuki who's this guy mind the business this is the family business no this is my business It's fun. Fat fun. Mr. Buck, a oh, welcome. I was so glad you could make it. So this is it. The world's vein is a long geek. Looks like a shithole. Oh, but let me assure you, it is a real gem. Then why are you selling it? Selling? Dad, you get so much. Fuck. Why are you not giving it to your boy? Because he is just that, a boy. So I get everything: the name, the recipe, everything. Mm. <laughs> uh, how about the house of special? Oh, the famous Dicky Roll. Complimentary, of course. Yuki. I'm sorry, boss. It was the last one, and you're close to my figure. You figure nothing. Dad, a disgrace. I am surrounded by incompetence. Yuki. Yeah. I have an idea. Why don't I cut off her tits and serve it to you on a platter? You can eat silicone. <laughs> Here, you can eat. Get the hell out of my restaurant before I make you look special. Your father has done with the place. Actually, Dad's retired. I run the restaurant now. Really? I've never seen it so busy. Oh, I know. It's been hard work, but I've created a state-of-the-art dining experience. My innovative method of meat tenderizing, combined with my riveting entertainment, make the long pig the newest rave in dining. I like to call it entertainment. We import martial artists to fight our in-house gladiators, and then after the fight, our guests get to bid on any body part they choose to dine on. Hmm. Does that include famous Nikiro? Well, that、uh, dish is a little time-sensitive. Preparation for that one is an ancient Chinese secret. 
<laughs> Ancient Chinese secret, yes. Yeah. So, tell me, where is my old friend? I want to congratulate him on what a wonderful job his son is doing. Uh -huh. He's right over here. What the fuck? Hi, Dad. An old friend is here to see you. I'm sorry. Seems like retirement has closed him off to the world. Ah, the next fight! This local sensei just joined us. I hear he's a real master of the art. Allow my hostess to escort you to your tatami room. Hmm. Oh, and Mr. Tarasov, please do stay for dessert. I prepared something extra special for you. Complimentary, of course. Very nice. Okay, fine, after the dinner rush. <laughs> Come up, eh? I thought she was going to duck. You okay, baby? You can take a hit. Now. You need to control your kicks, oh, ass. Hey, 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 hey. Wow, chill out, chill out. With an accident, man. You better be more careful next time. Yeah, whatever, here. Hey, you safe? Huh? Hey. Thanks for your concern, ladies. I think we got it. Let's go cut this side. 
Yeah, she's right. Let's get Sansa's approval and give this thing a blowdown, all right? Who had all the part of you kicking his daughter in the face? It was an accident, man. Babe, can you tell your girlfriend we want the footage? Yeah, all right. We were really on today. Is she gonna have a million hits? I have to go. Look, Nash is Nash. Don't let him get to you. He's kind of overprotective, but he's got a really good heart. He's an ass. You're right, he's an ass, but you're my best friend. So, can we squash this, please? Squashed. I do have to get going. Midterms. Well, we need you to edit the promo piece to show my dad. One hour, that's all you get. Dad? Sheila? Isn't there supposed to be a class tonight? Yeah, there should be. Dad? Sheila? What the? I'm gonna call home. Can you try Sheila? Okay. Hey, Sheila, it's Pete. We're at the dojo and wondering where you are. Could you please give me or Jenna a call? Hey, this must be the woman's self-defense class. <laughs> yeah, where's everybody? Don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. No answer. I got a bad feeling. Let's swing by the house. I'll take you, honey. Okay, call me if you hear anything, okay? I'm worried about it. I want to have a look at that footage, man. Yes, go ahead. Oh, 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 I got a better idea. It's kind of tight. Good. It should be. Right, the first thing you need to know about being tough is just get to act it. Be it. Live it. The brothers need to know how to survive out there. There's no rules. Motherfuckers want to tap your ass and say good morning. Yo, that's how it is in the streets of the Wild West. Everybody packing out for themselves. Survive over this, baby. Come on. I hope you saved room for dessert. <laughs> you okay. A gift from us to you. Very thoughtful, you okay. Enjoy. I will. For a bite? Are you kidding me? I'd rather eat the ass of a donkey, wouldn't I? Now, shall we get down to business? How was Mr. Karate Master? Ah, oh, Babylon, I made quick work of him. I'm very disappointed, actually. You're supposed to bring me the young one. Hang on, I got you as master and that young little part. Now, I figured that would make for a pretty good fight, you know, him being a master and all. But never mind that. Let's move on, because I have found the guy you're looking for. A real stud. His name is Nash. A fighting machine with a perfect record, 11 and 0. And bonus? He too comes with a sweet, juicy tart. Dad! This doesn't make any sense. Don't worry. Probably went to a movie or something. They wouldn't have canceled the class for a movie. They would have called. They always call. Hey, your dad is the toughest guy. I know. I'm sure he's fine. Well, it still doesn't feel right. No, it really feels right. Not much. Come on. This is serious.
Exactly. None of your business. You my boy. That makes it my business. Bitch. Oh, we got a tough guy here. So, so tough. Just like Chuck Norris. You're not so tough now. Hey, you the guys that took our sensei, you pussy. Here you push the UG. Doggy lose his master. <laughs> Where'd you take a sensei? I take your sensei to the same place I take you. You, you, fat fuck, tiny fuck, white fuck, think he black and black fuck. I take you all. Bring it on, Hong Kong. Okay, John Claude, knock that. You bring it on. Wah! Let's dance, motherfucker. Take them all! someone in town that would like to meet you. A crime lord from the Britons named Dragonfly. Then why would I want to meet a dragonfly? Apparently, he owns a restaurant that serves the same kind of stuff. Interesting. I thought we were exclusive. Tell me more. They say that when he was young, his parents tried to commit him. Now, naturally, he didn't take a liking to that idea, so he proceeded to kill them and eat them in a week. Sounds like my kind of guy. If that's your thing. Not looking so good for you. Maybe your guys were a little too rough bringing them in. The doctor's here. Good. Tell him his patient's almost ready. Who's the doctor? Well, I like to think of him as alternative programming. Ah, always thinking of new ideas, eh, boss? Don't call me boss. Now, are you done crawling up my ass? Yes, boss, sir. Just leave, please. Of course, but <clears throat> should I set up a dinner with the dragonfly? Very well. Now? Later. 
Maybe we should call the cops. Yeah, a nigga and spick with a chink tied up in the back of a van. I'll die. <laughs> Who calls cops anyways, man? What the fuck are we really gonna do? I got an idea. When I see the standard in our Now we just waltz in there and start busting heads. Brian, you go through the front. By myself? Try to say it was a restaurant. You never had a problem getting in a restaurant. <sighs> oh my god, are you making fun of my weight, dude? I'm, not, come I'm on. just saying you find a way in. What if the password doesn't work? Then you come back to the vent and we give our friend here some more shock therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. What are you two gonna do? Sneak through the back and bust some heads. Wow, Bruce Lee, that's a real plan. You got a better idea, Taco Bell? Because I'm listening. Are you trying to say that because I'm Spanish, dog? Because if you are, that's some real racist shit, dog. And I'm not feeling okay, that Okay, enough. Shit. Look. I will take the front just to get away from you two. Cool, let's do it. Wait, wait. Look. If shit goes down there, I want you two to know that I'll be the first booking it out of there, okay? I am not going to die a virgin, all right? I'm just not going to do it. Hey, Lau. You lost, boy? No, I'm, I'm here for dinner. I don't know what you're talking about. I heard this is the best restaurant in town, and as you can see, I love to eat. Who told you this was a restaurant? It's word on the street, man. You know. No, I don't oh, know. Oh, fuck. Come on, dude. Password. You are what you eat. Jack. Why didn't you say so in the first place? <laughs> you never asked. <laughs> It's a restaurant. Somebody's gotta come out and throw away the trash or have a cigarette or something, right? Is that where Dad is? Sheila, do you know where that is? Hi, sugar tip. Joel, you touch her! Sweetheart, but your sister has an appointment with the doctor. 
You pussy, let's go. I'm not much of a gambler. No. Okay, what will it be? Yeah. I'll have whatever the house special is. I'll have the house special. My favorite dish. Great choice. Thank you. What place are we getting right now, dog? Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing right now? Now I'm gonna kill these motherfuckers, man. Remember what sense they taught us, all right? A true warrior is a master of his emotions. All right, just chill the fuck out and remember that. We're gonna get you revenge, all right, Black Norris? Take his honor.
I think I've had this before. Mm. Oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> really good. You know, I finished you off by hungrier, but I have people counting on me, so. Welcome. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Even hotter, I would get like it. You were sick of breath, burning everything I met. I let the devil tell me something. You told me never stop. I move the crowd and keep on bumping. Now I'm as cold as could be. I must have learned a little something because he's so good. So dumb. Excuse me, Stephen! 
What is it? Um, remember that client I was telling you about from London? The dragonfly? It turns out the dragonfly um, is actually Madam Dragonfly. Are you telling me that you haven't even met this person and you bring her into my restaurant? What if she's a cop? She's not. No, I swear. I swear she's not. Honest, look, look, listen, listen. The dragonfly has a reputation and I would imagine that she keeps her gender under wraps so that she can, you know, intimidate people. One more mistake like this and Baphomet will have you for lunch. Doesn't she know the fur's dead? <laughs> <laughs> she's not very bright. Yes. Would it kill you to take a shower? Madam Dragonfly, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Your reputation precedes you. The pleasure is all mine, as I've heard much about you as well, Doctor. Isn't your hostess going to take my coat? Sorry, dude. I was uh, just wondering where the washroom is. Right. Around the corner, second door. <sighs> Honestly. Now. killed your father to take over the restaurant. I never would have told you that. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. You and I have a lot in common. Tell me about your restaurant. It's a quaint little setup. Fine dining, to say the least. Nestled safely in the heart of London. Right in the city. Mm. What do you serve? Our specialty is nipple tartare. You really should come and have a taste. I'd love to. Stephen? Yuki, we're discussing business. I thought you might be thirsty. Pah. Good help is so hard to find these days. Seems like she could use some lessons in etiquette. <laughs> Hello, Fatty. That's with a PH, right? Not so. I speak Asian. Anyway, I was wondering if you were, by chance, preparing a 
Dick, you know, anytime soon. Why? Well, like a simple one, wouldn't I? I know what makes it so special. Oh, wait, you make it. Right. Understood. Respect that. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'll just order one for later, then, shall I? Come high. So, tell me, what's the television for? Yeah. I want all my customers to be satisfied with a long peg. So in addition to fine dining, I offer many forms of entertainment. Professional fights, gambling, sexual pleasures. Really? Yes. Sexual pleasures? Oh, yes. And here's our latest program. The doctor's office. Where you get an in-depth understanding of the human anatomy. For the more intellectual types. is about to prepare one. for supper.
and I got a little out of hand. The good news is you found me a secret clerk. You fucked him. Yes, but... I forgive you. You did good. Maybe a new menu. Oh. Maybe an old 
Yeah. Dad would like that. Dad would be proud. <laughs> Dad. You know, my father used to say I was a disgrace to the family because I never ate human flesh. I just never had an appetite for it. Until now. Stop! Run! Get off the Just in time for the main course, huh? It's over. Let us go. Wait, let me think about that. No. We're walking out of here, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's what you think. I said, it's over. Come on, come on, come on. Let her go. I'm so sorry, but you've been fucked up by establishment. You're crazy. I'm crazy. <laughs> I could end her right now. Or you can come and save her. Don't you fucking hurt her. What are you waiting for? Help me. Yeah, help her, BD. Shut up. Now's your chance. You could be the real hero. Stop it. What are you waiting for? Don't you love her? Don't you want to have her babies? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You never listen to me! Uh-oh. Don't listen to him. He knows? No! Where was your friend? Oh, shit! There's that F word again. Every guy hates that word. Don't you know that? I think she wanted a little more, Jenna. Oh, he's messing with your head. Really? Really? Because when I first heard that Petey here told my bookie about a young martial artist, I thought he was doing me a favor, but my little bro was just looking out for himself and wanted your boyfriend out of the way. We didn't know that you would get so involved, though. But shit happens, right, brother? How could you? Am I gonna have to wipe your ass for the rest of my life? Get ready to spend a lot of time in the office with Dad. Christ! Back the fuck up, fool. Good to see you, bro. Shy? What? They come to get Petey a hand? Pete, you know this dude? He's the one responsible for this. Shoot him! You're the one that kills and saying my boys, huh? Maybe. Jenna! <laughs> Yes. Oh, brother, I gotta say, this is like your best work yet. <laughs> okay, would somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? Katie, Dr. Pete, Katie, Dr. Pete. Start talking. Now. Yeah. Come on, man. It's me. You gonna listen to this psycho? I'm your friend. Yeah, I'm the psycho. When this kid was eight, he took a gerbil and jumped in a... He's done. 
Pakistan.